Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel where you find everything fashion, beauty, and bougie. My name is Goldie and thanks for being my friend. Now, we're going to be turning this wig here into something a little bit more lighter, more like a blonde, something like this. So that, you know, we can color it. We can do something a little different. If that's something you would like to see, stay tuned. First off, I'm just going to uh, go ahead and customize the edges a little bit more. It came pre-plucked, but I'm going to pluck it some more and go ahead and get that stuff out the way. Oh, you saw me spray with a little, you know, concoction. That's just water, girl. I use water to get a little wet, um, and then I start plucking. I actually got this method from Tay, not the water, but... Well, yeah, he said the water too, but the whole white towel thing so you can see, actually see, you know, where hair is at and stuff like that so um, i'm using the towel to be able to see the hairline a little bit better versus it being on the wig head and then i'm getting the hair wet so i can comb it back and get the tweezing you also want to bring the or part the hair and bring some of it forward so um you can get behind that hairline and then sometimes i even part again just to get a little bit more so it just depends on you know the wig but Yep, you're watching me pluck here, and I'm just going to do that all the way around the hairline. So I actually decided to do the hot water method. I bo boiled some water and let it cool down just a tad so it's not, you know, bubbling. Then I have here an extra bin. You're also going to need some gloves, some developer, and some bleach packets. I wanted to use the highest one they had available, so I got the 40. In the little uh, bin, you're going to scoop out about, you know, five or six scoops of the bleach powder and actually girl i'm gonna be go ahead and be honest early you're gonna see that i did a dumb mistake i accidentally put the hair inside of the the uh i can't get my words together the pot instead of the plastic bin and it was too much water so i ended up having to bleach it twice but you're gonna see all that here but i'm mixing up the bleach powder and the um the developer until it's nice and creamy and not thick you want it liquidy um, and runny and then I was supposed to pour the hot water into the bowl or not into the bowl but into the plastic thing but for some reason I did it the other way around so it ended up being way too much water but I'm gonna let you guys watch and then I'll come back and talk Why on earth would I fuck up this pan like this? This pot. Why would I do that? Why? Well, you, you, if this was the plastic bin, you put your wig inside and, you know, you swish it around. You make sure it's nice and covered, saturated with the water and the bleach mixture. And you saw how much water was in there. It was way too much water. So I let that sit for uh, maybe two or three minutes and then I came back with my little brush thing and make sure to brush the product evenly through. So you do wanna make sure you do that though. When the hair is in the bleach and water mixture, you wanna brush it to make sure it's in there evenly. You see, I was having some troubles here, um, trying to get that thing through. And you just wanna make sure the hair is completely covered. Even though I messed up, this method is a lot faster and easier um, when it comes to bleaching your bundles or your wig 
because you know you have to sit there and do it almost like kind of track by track to make sure it gets through evenly so that's very annoying um you also want to cover the pot or your bin whatever you decide to use hopefully you use the plastic bin with some um, plastic to keep the heat inside this is how it came out the first time and i wasn't too pleased with the um the brightness of it i needed it to be a little more so i did it again and then you see here i actually did it in the bin with a way 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 less amount of water and it took quite well so here we are The total amount of time that you decide to leave the wig inside the the bleach mixture is completely up to you. Um, you just have to look at it and see how bright it is and how fast it's turning. Um, you know, I've watched several different videos on here about this process and everyone kind of has a different, you know, time. And because I did mess mine up, I can't really, you know, give you an accurate say. It'll take only 10 minutes because child minds took two runs, so... But this, this process does definitely work. Just make sure you use not a lot of water. Um, here you'll see I'm, I'm cleaning the hair, rinsing the bleach out, and then I'm also going to deep condition it um, because, yeah, I bleached it twice. So, you know, it's a little fried and fertilized. Girl, you see me looking back because I was watching, um, what was I watching? I was watching The Hunger Games and it was getting so good and it was the last one. So I just had to keep paying attention. Sorry. <laughs> But yes, make sure you get you a nice clarifying shampoo to get all of that bleach and stuff up out of your wig. And you definitely want to condition it and put some, you know, TLC back into that hair because bleach is, you know, drying out the hair and stuff like that. So be careful with that. So here is how the hair turned out. This is what it looks like when it is wet. I was still a little worried, I'm not gonna lie, but I'm not going to bleach it again because that would probably just ruin the hair. But here's how it looked. I'm going to blow dry it and then show you guys how it turned out. And I'm actually pretty pleased. Um, I decided to dye this hair purple, but I really wanted the purple to shine through. So this is gonna be bright enough for me. If you would like to see that video, check that out. It'll be posted very soon. Other than that, this is the water coloring method for bleaching your wigs. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, anything like that, things you want to see in the future, let me know down in the comments down below. Other than that, I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.